on water. Good morning, everyone. Today, I would like to talk about the Nash equilibrium. There was uh, three type of Nash equilibrium. I would like to talk number three and then number one, number two. Now, number three, the pure Sturgis Nash equilibrium. Its meaning is that the combination of moves in which no player would want to change her Sturgis utility. Each player chooses its best strategies given what the others are doing or given the beliefs of what others are doing. So this one is a definition of the Nash equilibrium. And also know that in the Nash equilibrium, there was no change to strategies of the each players to improve their payoff. Thinking of the Nash equilibrium has to go to the definition. Now I will go to number one, which we cut the fundamental assumption of a game. There was two characteristics of those one. One we called uh, is a rationality. The second one we called is a common knowledge, which means that all players know that opposite another player is rational and also the second player know the first player is also rational and each player wants to maximize their own profit as their own targeted. Second one we call the complete information strategic game, uh, which meaning is that there was also two players uh, in these games. Uh, secondly, when a player makes the decisions, he and she, he or she, does not know the action by taken by the rivals. And also, we may also say that the players move simultaneously in the static games. So, uh, thirdly or secondly, is that the players know the payoff of their opponents. In those Nash equilibrium, the information is totally open and the players make the decisions both. Now, I that Say before, I would like to talk about more about the complete information in the statistic games. Now, I will be giving an example of the class that the professor already given to us. There was two uh, players, the prisoner one and the prisoner two. Of this table, there was two options. One we call the confess, or which means that I'm guilty. Another one is the stay quiet, which means say nothing. As a chart, we can see that if player one and player two both say stay quiet, each of them will sentence by one year. But there was also another another strategy. Now, when we look at the prisoner number two and they said I'm confessed. Now, prisoner number one have two options: either confess or stay quiet. If the prisoner one should confess, then stay quiet. They will be in the jail five years than, the, than 10 years. So five is greater than 10 years. So the prisoner one will either choose confess, no, that stay quiet. Now, move to prison number two. When the prison number two stay quiet, prison number one, if the prison, prison, prison one say I'm confessed, it's go nothing, it's zero years. And stay quiet and one year, zero. Bigger than one. So prison number one choose confess. Now move to prison one. If the prison one choose confess, five and zero, the prison two have left two options, either confess or stay quiet. So confess is five years, stay quiet is 10 years, five and 10. So prison number two is also choose five years. Now, if the prison one choose stay quiet, it I have two options. One, if the prison two choose confess, it's zero. And stay quiet, it's one year, zero better than one. So uh, the prisoner number one is the prisoner number two will be true to confess. Now prisoner number one and the prisoner number two have a both national equilibrium, which is confess and confess. So this is a, a complete information of the national equilibrium. Thank you for listening.